everyone this is phantom celebi and originally i wanted to do a breed out the weird challenge where i actually went into batu and had my weird looking character and like had them kind of be doing like weird looking character things while trying to get it on with all the people in the town then their kids would have babies with those people's kids and just like so on and so forth but that wasn't gonna happen because for some reason I don't know why but like I haven't been able to get any sims pregnant in Batu, and I think it has something to do with the fact that maybe they turned that off so that you can't get people pregnant while doing missions which you can st still get them pregnant outside of there like if you add them to your home and then you know bring them back and forth you can do that but for some reason directly in Batu you can't do it not sure why maybe it's like some sort of feature they implemented to prevent you from breeding like crazy with all the people in the town possibly to squirve off all the Raylo people who wanted Kylo Ren and uh, Rey to be a thing so just my guess why that's a thing if you hear stuff in the background it's because there's a tv playing in the background and then you know i'm right next to a construction site so if you hear anything i don't think it's going to be very loud but it'll there will probably be stuff in the background um but yeah like so the way i started this challenge is i took the character and i Basically, what I went and did was I went into the gallery and I took two of the characters that were, you know, labeled as ugly. Then I bred them because I really wanted this challenge to really be challenging. So I took the two ugly characters that I found from the gallery, bred them together, made a weird looking kid, which for some reason came out with Goku hair. Um, after that, then I kept on breeding them with other randos. That was what I did first. I randos from the town. Like, I found a bunch of people who were in costumes. And I put them into my save. Well, into my household. And a lot of them did, like, a, you'll experience this. A lot of them will be normal people in costumes. Like, in my last video, uh, there was a stormtrooper who was thick. But turned out to be one of the teachers from um, one of the packs. You know which pack. Discover University. Before then, there was no teachers. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, that thick stormtrooper was a teacher. So you'll probably experience, like, if you do this yourself, you'll probably experience people from other packs kind of intermingling into Realm of... I'm saying Realm of Magic. Because that was the first people I saw from uh, Journey to Batu. They were Realm of Magic characters. But yeah, like, I didn't want to take the easy route either by adding them in because of course they're going to make okay looking sims. So what I did was I took a bunch of randos who were in costumes, checked to see if their names matched up with anybody that I knew personally. And if they didn't, then I just plop them in there. Um, I think some of them were actually just randomly generated sims, while others were just people, like, who were from other packs. So I put, picked out a few of them, put them into my game, then I, uh, picked out all of the characters from the story. Um, I think you can also do a story with Chewbacca? I haven't gotten that far into the missions yet. I got- I did, like, a few of the missions here and there. But I haven't done anything intense, but like, yeah, so I, what I did was I took those characters and then I just continued to breed them together. So like I, I used, I went with, um, Vi and Agnon and Rey and Kylo Ren and Hanzo, I believe that's what his name is. I remember the first time I saw Hanzo. 
Like, he was just chilling out in the cantina and we were just like jamming out while he was doing air guitar. Like, you gotta love a dude who can do air guitar because that is just beautiful. Beautiful. So, there was a little snap with um, when I was actually doing this Breed Out the Weird challenge where for some reason using, <laughs> using, uh, well, using the general recorder I generally use, OBS, for some reason it was causing The Sims 4 to lag. I don't know why, because it didn't do that last night, but for some reason it's doing it today. Not sure. Um, my guess is there's something in my computer that's trying to update, and I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Um, or it's a possibility that I need to update something with OBS or something like that. I don't know. Because, like, I don't update that often. <laughs> I don't update most, most of anything that often. Like, you should have seen how many mods I had to update the moment I, um, updated my Sims 4 mods. Like, I have a pretty vast folder of mods. But yeah, like, so I just, I like, kept on breeding and breeding and breeding. And... There were some characters that came out actually pretty decent looking, despite some problems here and there. And to be honest, I kind of think the best looking one, even though she didn't have the most symmetrical face, was the one that came from Vi. Because for some reason she's like, she had still somewhat nice features. She had like big lips, she had a nice nose, she had like um, a pretty nice forehead. But, like, for some reason, like, it, it started to get weird again the moment I added Kylo Ren into the mix. I don't know, maybe it's because Kylo Ren has really long features. So it's like, yeah, I was, adding him and Rey was not a good idea when it came to that. Because, like, when you, you breed Rey on her own with somebody, um, yeah, it, it's okay. Because I've done this myself with one of my alien sims. But for some reason, when you put Kylo Ren and Rey and a whole bunch of other sims from the Star Wars franchise together, they just look weird because a lot of them have really long faces. So a lot of them will end up giving you somebody who kind of looks like the Crimson Chin. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just like long faces long. Like, when I mixed up all those characters together, the only one that sort of balanced out how long the faces were was Lieutenant Agnon, which I think that's his name. But yeah, like, he was the only one who kind of fixed up all the weird that happened after I added Rey and Kylo Ren <laughs> into this, this mix. Because the moment I added them, no joke, the moment I added them, they got weird again. It's like, I fixed it with this girl, and I was like, okay, well I gotta continue with the Star Wars theme by including the other Star Wars characters. And so I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna do this, and they're gonna look amazing because the characters look good, but no, they did not. Like, they literally looked weird. Um, I mean, they did not look terrible, but like, their faces were really long, <laughs> like long, long, long. And I guess I shouldn't complain about that, because, like, some people think that long, long faces on a man looks okay. So, like, that's why I was okay with the last result being male. Maybe if I would have made it female, it would have looked a little different. Maybe it would have balanced out the features more. I don't know. But, like, when I finished up this challenge, I... I didn't feel confident about it. I, I didn't. But I still decided, hey, I'm gonna give him the makeover because this is what I usually do when I do a breed out the weird challenge. I will wait till I get the very last bit of the genetics and then I will give them a makeover, which I think a lot of people do it that way cuz like it's a lot more interesting that way if you wait till you get the very very last result. And I mean, I wasn't going to have a Star Wars challenge without including all the Star Wars characters. So that's just how I felt about doing this. Yet again, not entirely confident about how this turned out, but hey, it, it, I think it's all right. Um, you guys tell me what you think. I think he came out okay looking, but not gorgeous. Um, I think maybe it's because he's really muscular, but also with a long face. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs>